All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo's Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another fun and interesting mod, this time in the form of Nano Gauges by Nerid, whom we have uh, showcased one or two of his mods on here in the past, and today, uh, oh, I gotta say, I absolutely love this new mod, which once again is Nano Gauges, and what it does is it adds small analog gauges to the game for you to use and they they're glorious i i truly do love them so let's just load up say the kerbal x here and uh head over to the launch pad so you can take a look at these gauges for yourself if it will load there we go and look at all of the glorious gauges now uh this is the first bit to be shown here today is just the sheer number of different gauges that you have available to you and these that we have down here are just the ones available stock if you have the tack life support or keythane packs installed on your particular game there will be some extra gauges here that relate to those mods but for the just stock standard ksp game you have these here, which range from everything from radar altimeters to vertical and horizontal speed to fuel, f liquid fuel flow, your battery charge, your air intake, apoapsis, periapsis, and just so, so very many other things. And what's fun is that you also get this little tab here where you can set groupings of the ones you like and what you want to use for various tasks such as a launching, landing, docking, orbiting, flight, and then three random classifications that you can use for whatever you want. And you can set all of these from this lovely button here. Now this uh, does of course use the toolbar mod and uh, we can just hit this open nano gauges configuration and we get this lovely config panel and right now this is all the gauges that we have at our disposal. Uh, I'm not going to list them all off because there's there's just there's a lot. So uh, read them yourself. <laughs> but, uh, the fun part about this is if you don't want them on, like this is the standard right here, the standard setting which matches up with this standard here, and that currently is showing all gauges. But say we don't want the radar altimeter on, we can turn it off and it goes away. Turn it back on there or say the orbital speed gauge. We can just chuck that one off, and actually, for those of you who like symmetry, that would be probably a good one. And we can even turn off, if we so desire, the gauge set selector, which is that handy little tool here, which, if we turn that back on, you can actually use to go between your different sets. Now, currently, I've set up launch, land, orbit, dock, flight, and that's it. I haven't touched these three sets here, but I have played around with these. So if we go to launch, these are sort of the things I like to have at my disposal for launch. We have our vertical speed, our mass, so you can see the ship changing as you release your different stages. Your accelerometer, atmosphere, periapsis, apoapsis, thrust, uh, thrust to weight ratio even, and just all these lovely things. And then if we actually use the selector over here and go to landing, we've got things like our fuel oxidizer, the liquid fuel flow, if you so desire, our battery charge, our amperage, which is your char electrical charge usage, and just other various things I like to have when landing. Same with docking, we've got you know, the typical orbit, periapsis, apoapsis, but even, oh, where is it? Oh, there we are, a distance to target, this gauge. This gauge I love. And then of course an orbiting one with just some very, very basic information, a flight one that includes things like the air intake and things of that variety. And like I said, I haven't touched the S1 through S3 as well. I couldn't think of what in the world to put on these, but hey, if you have fun ideas for them, yeah, you can do whatever you want and have your own custom sets. And the fun part about these is that they aren't set in place. Now, if you'll notice, like on, uh, let's see, vertical speed on this one is right here for launching, and I believe I also have vertical speed on landing, 
but it is over here. So it moved over a few places, and that's because you can manually click these and move them around. Now, if you have OCD, this mod may be the bane of your existence because you'll spend a lot of time trying to line things up. Now, to make your life a little easier, there is this automatic layout button here which is supposed to sort of align them, but it doesn't seem to work in this current stage. I, I don't know if maybe just the version of the mod I grabbed is slightly off or if it's a feature that still needs some tweaking, but yeah, this automatic layout is supposed to sort of align them in a line, so if all of them were sort of arranged like this, it is supposed to sort of bunch them all down, but at the moment that does not seem to be functioning, but honestly, to me, that's not a big deal, because hey, if you want your fuel uh, over here in the corner, you can put it over there in the corner. If you want your oxidizer over here, you can do it. That doesn't matter. And if you want, so if while you are trying to move around your vessel, you don't accidentally click these and move them, you can actually lock the gauge position. And I'm trying to move oxidizer, but that just is not working. And it's, it's, oh, I, I absolutely love this thing. And of course, it saves your position between them. So now if we go back to land, I've got these things all the way the heck over here, which is not very useful to me. And oh, that is actually going to bother me with them being <laughs> over there. I don't mind them not being all lined up, really, but uh, I at least like them being clustered. Now, one of the things on here is the hotkeys. Now, we have this hotkey right now selected to right control, but you can change it to left control, left or right shift, or left or right alt. And what that does is it allows you to select between these different settings, or presets rather, with the keyboard. So if I go to right control, oh god, my keyboard's kind of in an awkward position right now, and then hit, oh, oh no, that's not right control. There we are, we can hit one and bring them up and switch between them by using the keys, or number keys rather. And you'll also notice that they have an X over them. So while you're holding control, you can turn on and off them. Just like I can do it here by turning that on and off, I can also hold down control and click that and it'll do the exact same thing. And like I said, you can change this to whatever you want, and actually right control is kind of inconvenient for me because of where my microphone is positioned. So left control would work much better. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that, that's great. <laughs> much easier for me to get to. And yeah, it's just, ah, oh, I, I really do love this mod. And it's, uh, the reason I think I like it the most is I, I love having more information. And rather than just having mech jeb with an info panel with just numbers, I like the idea of it being gauges. That's why I do like the internal views so much, because you can view your flight through gauges. And it's not just weird gauges or anything like that, it's, it's proper sort of analog gauges like you'd find in a cockpit. And it's, it's just wonderful. And there are other gauge mods that do exist out there. Uh, but honestly, I haven't personally liked any of them. This is the first one I've seen that I actually enjoy. It's 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 wonderful. It's got a great look to it. It has a huge amount of information at your disposal. And I love the settings that you can choose for these things. And, well, before we actually end stuff here, because there's not really a huge amount to talk about, I actually just want to do a launch real quick so you can see the gauges down here for a launch changing. I'm actually most intrigued by the mass one to see how that changes as we drop various stages. So let's just turn on our SAS. Oh god, there's the key. Oh my, I really need to move around my keyboard and microphone. But all right, so three, two, one, a launch. Jebediah doing a lovely little dance. And let's roll. There we go, we got our vertical speed thrust going up. Our uh, speed slowly accelerating on that gauge. Fuel slowly dropping on that one. And let's watch the mass as we separate the first bit. A small change. Huh, I would have thought more of a jump than that. Though, <laughs> I'm a little tempted just to like release every stage and see how much the mass changes then. But, uh, oh, there goes another stage. There it goes down one more notch. 
Seeing the occasional little shift on the uh, accelerometer there, which is nice. Our atmosphere slowly going away. And, of course, our apoapsis and periapsis not doing a whole lot. Well, the apoapsis is actually changing, and that could be quite useful for not having to switch back and forth between the flight view and the map view. That's actually much more handy than I thought it would be on the launch. Yeah, it's actually going quite nice. We've lost a fair amount of our mass. The gauge was somewhere around here. Now it's down this way. But since I am wanting to see it change a lot, let's just... Uh, throttle ourselves down, and oh, I forgot the control, Le left control was also my throttle down, but oh well, let's just drop that stage, oh, that was a lot of mass dropped, wow, alright, then we'll drop that stage, and that's all we have left, just that small little, just under five tons, huh, I like it, I like it. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is, once again, the nano gauges by Nerid, and it's it's just wonderful. I love the look of it, I love the feel of it, I love the usability of it. It is... it's just useful. <laughs> and it gives offers you a lot of customization with you being able to move these wherever you want and have on whichever gauges you want to have, and in various different preset settings here, and it's just... It's great, so I, I would definitely recommend to all of you to go follow the link in the description and check this mod out for yourself. It is not only cool looking, but extraordinarily useful. Like imagine on, say, landings, you know, you actually have your radar altimeter rather than just your uh, regular old altimeter here. I forget the proper name for the non-radar altimeter. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually know how far you have to the actual surface and not just what is considered quote-unquote sea level. But let's watch the max, max G's go up as I release the parachute. G's did not go up nearly as much as I had thought. Oh, and it's right next to our temperature gauge. Also another cool... Ga oh, there's the G's. Look at that. Yeah, temperature gauge as well. I quite like that if you, you know, want to know those things for your science probes. But yeah, it's it's just, it's wonderful. It's a cool little mod, lot of customization to it. Go and give it a try. Once again, Nano Gauges by Nerid. And yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And of course, that you come back for the next when we take a look at another fun and interesting mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. <laughs>